We are at the Art Supply Depot in Toledo on St. Clair Street and this is an art class where we are going to do some creative florals um, using some pop art colors. Uh, we're going to work on two canvases and there are a lot of different um, processes that we're going to walk through today and in this class it's fun because we get to see where people come in very analytical, I can't do this, I'm the worst, whatever it is, and they will eventually evolve over and they'll be very creative at the end. Through life, whatever I was doing, I always encompassed art into that. And, uh, here I am. <laughs> yeah, there were a lot of um, deviations along the way. Um, kids, family, college, things like that, um, that I had to take hiatus from this, but I always came back to it. And um, I always found when I was in my highest stress levels that if I painted, um, it calmed me down. And I remember being at an art show one time and I was just painting and giving a small demonstration and a woman whispered in my ear, doesn't it make you nervous when we watch you paint? And at that point in time, I looked up and I realized there was a sea of eyes watching me. And it was the first time that I realized when I'm painting, the only thing that matters is what comes off the end of this paintbrush. So when I looked at her, I just said, when I paint, you're not even there. And it was amazing. Um, so in these classes, and I think anybody that creates, it's a form of meditation. Um, we're only focusing on the, the, what we're doing right now and the rest of the world goes away. This is just part of it. This is just part of it. And if I can inspire people to do that and let them see what this can do for them, the fun that they can have um, creating these canvases today, that um, if you take a picture of this, if you're computer savvy, you can create your own cards. Uh, these are great Mother's Day cards and things like that. Save your fortune. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I want to put a card shop out of business, but something that comes from you is so much more meaningful to other people. It's different. It's not the type of painting where you're doing a portrait, which is, I mean, you know, when you do things like this, it's very unforgiving. But when you're doing a portrait, if you don't have the nose or the eyes just perfect, it's wrong. This is very unforgiving and it's very casual, it's very fun and free, and a lot of times when people look at my art, they've said that, I like, I like your style, and that's what it is. I don't paint inside the lines, you know? So yeah, that's, that's the best part. I have a business that's called His and Herbs, it's LLC. Uh, I live out by Genoa, and um, I have a studio at my home. It hold, it's a small studio, it holds eight. Um, I prefer small classes, actually, I like teaching. Um, I've had classes of 30 or more and sometimes when it gets that big you're putting out fires and you're not really teaching so people say well how many what's your minimum one if you want to come paint I'll teach you I'll teach you and, and that's you know the, their eyes light up it's like what it's like no I mean to inspire you to to paint and also I mean um, I have done some groups uh, and there was one guy and I just knew he just wanted to be good you know I just want to get it I just want to be good you know show me how to do it and, and that is heartwarming to me. You know, it's like they want it, they're really trying, you know, so that, that's, that's the fun part. That really is the fun part. Our workshops are definitely like the biggest way that we have to kind of reach out and draw people in. Um, obviously people come in for art supplies, um, but one thing that kind of keeps them here and keeps them staying and coming back is the, the workshops that we have. And it, it's really kind of been a way for us to sort of build a community. Um, we have so many different people who come into the workshops um, and they'll try like a different workshop because they love the one and want to try another one. Um, but we also have new people coming in all the time for, for workshops. So it's, it's kind of our way of building a community around these workshops and engaging the public and kind of building through art education um, and through teaching these workshops. It's a way of building a community. So.